For a man spun from the rarest of right stuff cloth, Mike Collins is surprisingly humble and self-deprecating. How much of what happened to you was luck, do you think? Who? Luck. I or think do you believe in luck? That's another question. Ardently, I believe in luck. Luck should be put on my uh, gravestone. Sure, he and his Apollo 11 compadres, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin, were all born in the same year, 1930. We just wandered by at exactly the right moment, and that is a consummate example of luck, luck, and more luck. I'm a big believer in luck. But of course, they really weren't wandering. No, they were marching with a warrior's purpose. After all, luck favors the well-prepared. In 1963, he was a test pilot driven to go faster and higher when NASA selected him in its third class of astronauts. His first mission, Gemini 10, in 1966. The Gemini missions were primarily focused on perfecting orbital rendezvous and docking, the devilishly complex process of bringing two ships together in space. It consumed the time and talent of NASA's engineering brain trust. But what about spacewalking? Well, you just kind of go out there. And we really had not thought through what just going out there meant. And he had two spacewalks on his to-do list for Gemini 10. One of the consequences of our being ignorant, I have to say, about spacewalking was uh, I found myself outside, uh, no handholds where I was, slippery surfaces, slipped off, went ass over tea kettle out into the unknown beyond the Gemini. It wasn't pretty, but he pulled it off. The worst part for us, during the gyrations, his camera unmoored from its tether, sending his priceless selfies into the void. 